In December 2022, the province of the Church of Uganda noted with great concern the increased call for participation of same-sex couples in the Anglican Church activities. Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mgalu, warned that Uganda's provincial assembly would not follow the Church of England's direction. The Church of England that has recently appointed uh, a gay to become a dean of the cathedral in Canterbury, of all, of all cathedrals in Canterbury, that means they have gone astray and we are soon disconnecting our souls from them. So this fear came to pass when the General Synod of the Church of England this week passed several resolutions. These resolutions included allowing clergy to bless same-sex unions in addition to approving supplemental prayers and liturgy for such occasions, much to the disappointment of Archbishop Kazimba Mugalu. The Church of Uganda, we cannot accept that. God cannot bless what he calls sin. Mogalu points out that this decision shows that the Church of England has now strayed from the biblical teachings that form the basis of the Church itself. The message of the Church of England today is saying, go and sin some more. They are even offering to bless that sin. Brethren, that is wrong, that is wrong. That is wrong. And as such, the Church of England should consider departing from the Anglican Communion along with other provinces who share its conviction. But in the meantime, the province of Church of Uganda will start reconsidering the way forward regarding its relationship with the Church of England in the coming weeks. We, we know where we are going, we know what we believe, and definitely there is no hope that we can work together with the Church of England. This is very obvious. But obviously, there are uh, councils, synods, and big meetings, provincial assembly to, for the final, final word. But where we are going, so obvious. We, we cannot work together when we are not united. But the final decision will be made at the fourth Global Fellowship of Confessing Anglicans or GAFCON Summit in Rwanda, set for April this year. He has also warned schools to be on the lookout for elements who may try to lure their learners into homosexuality. Children are back in school. Be aware of the well-funded gay organizations that are recruiting our children into homosexuality. Not only in Kampala, but all over the country. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.